Hey everyone and welcome back to Disco Elysium. It's been like a year since I played this game and I'm back again. We never ended up finishing it because I'm not really sure why actually. It was really good. But now they have apparently released a patch which makes all the dialogue and stuff voiced, which is going to be super cool because I like reading, but I hate I hate listening to my own voice. So I'm super excited to try this again. We're gonna make a new game and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so right, in the beginning you can choose different archetypes. Thinker, extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, sensitive. Oh, I can't remember what we picked the wrong time or the last time. I guess it was Thinker since it says continue here very psychological and magnetic personality but unstable physical extremely physical interacts with the world through his body gets things done but dumb as a rock you can also create your own but i think i think i'm gonna pick i think i'm gonna pick one because i'm scared that i will mess it up if i pick if i if i <laughs> if i make my own because I'm not good with stats and stuff. Usually when I do like play Fallout and stuff, I just put everything into Charisma. And uh, <laughs> usually that's fine. Sometimes it's not, so... Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like maybe we picked Sensitive last time. But I like it. A magnetic personality but unstable. It feels like a, like a, like a cult leader or something. I like it. We're gonna pick that. The Furies are at home in the mirror, it is their address, even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. Okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm not that smart. There is nothing, only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Oh, that's so cool. I can't do- Oh, I should have watched my own video, but I can't because I hate- <laughs> I don't know if anyone can relate, but I can't- Like, when you hear your own voice, it sucks. But that- oh, I don't think this was voiced before. I feel like I have a slight memory of reading this. Also, I'm gonna grab some coffee. But that sounds really cool. Ever. Mm. Never. Ever. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever, baby. Simply keep on non-existing. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. No ex-wives? Uh, <laughs> what was that about the ex-something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, it's bloated and shameful. A ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. Ah. Uh, yeah, plunge back into fathomless deep. There. No ball of meat. No light in the formless nothing. Just night swimming. I like nothing. I know you do, baby. I know. How about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. Alonsi? What does that mean? I have no idea. All right. Nothing town to fuck all, Bara. I forget there's so many swear words in this game. Uh, uh, let's visit the ancient Zero home. Great choice, Elder One. It has always been like this, and it always will. What does it say here? Feld playback. Film. Okay. Don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless. 
But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. This voice acting is really good, I like it. And the music is so nice. You can take it, you're a champion. <laughs> what is this writing? <laughs> Mother, help me, there's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. Help someone cut my head off, it's trying to murder the rest of me. A fiery streak penetrates your skull, oh no. trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound, a clarion call from hell. Open your eyes. I forgot how pretty this game is. I mean, it, it's nasty, but it's pretty. Okay, and we can click a bunch of things. Let's take pants. I feel like we need you that. Hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Fish them out. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. All right. Dude, I love how, like, everything seems to be, um, voiced. It's really cool. Can I pick? Can I pick? Can I pick? Can I pick the tie? Dude, d pick it. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Can I grab it? Or... Has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and <laughs> wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. I want it. Grab it. Oh, 28%. Do it anyways. Do it anyways. You reach out to grab the tie. But what's this? Diffuse radiating chest pain. Doom comes over you. God damn it. I'm really happy I don't have to try to pronounce these things. <laughs> this is bad. Wait, the damage my health? Feels like sharp stones grinding in your chest and keeping you from moving. Check. Check. Okay. For quite a long time. Well, that was a fail. Still ongoing. Now is a good time to start worrying. Are we dying? Finally, the pressure recedes. You find yourself covered in cold sweat and trying not to move. Hoping it will keep you from dying. Damn. Oh, wait, if we pull on the fan, maybe we can get the... If we stop it. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Okay, 72%. I'm an idiot. <laughs> we could have just done that. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning. The necktie is no longer contained. I just put it on. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. All right. I mean, if we're hungover, we definitely don't want to put on the light. We're not going to do that. What is this? The glass? The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Look out. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. Mm -hmm. Assess the damage. What do you mean, assess the damage? Don't know. How would you do that? What are you even trying to do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh, is that a shirt? He needs a shirt. Oh, maybe we should have taken a bath first. Disco ass blazer. Great. Exactly what I need. Oh, the water is just running. Dude, that's bad. Balls, bathtub, wine, beer, sweet liquors. Okay. What is sweet liquors? I don't think I like that. Oh. Mirror? The mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Yeah, what is our <laughs> what is our health picture, by the way? Why are we like a terrifying monster? I don't like it. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really nothing? Really. All recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. Sounds like a super bad hangover. Uh, wipe it. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Maybe I should touch it first to make sure there's nothing wrong with my face? Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with it. How bad could it be? Where to even begin? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. I like that this is basically me talking to the mirror. I'm sure everything is fine. Touch nose. What, what would you touch first? Nose or tongue? Hmm. I think you would touch your nose. It's not. Oh. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. <laughs> Why is he not honking it? Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. <laughs> Why is he like honk honk? At least my tongue is okay. It's not. Oh. It's swollen and snail-like, <laughs> wriggling between your fingers. I'm scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. It's only your face. It's not like anyone's going to see it. I want to see it. Wipe the mirror. Behold. <laughs> Great. Oh, no. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? No. Oh, why am I getting G-Force experience? Stop it. What? Um. Yeah, no, I have... <laughs> I have no idea who this is. Uh. <laughs> it's a... Uh, of course I do. It's um some kind of superstar. I think I'm a superstar. I feel like I... Picked this option last time. Oh lord, what is this? <laughs> then I'm gonna pick it again. It appears you're also dead. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Why? I don't. I. Oof, I really want to pick the same options. <laughs> I think it might be because I'm a superstar. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No, this is what superstars do. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Mm, I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. <laughs> Please promise yourself you are not going to try it on any of the ladies, whatever happens. I promise. Lie. <laughs> you liar. You can't even tell the truth to yourself. Oh shit. Go ahead. Try something. I forgot we're talking to a mirror, not a person. 3%, 3%. Oh, we can't do anything. We can stop the expression. We can locate the source of the expression, but we can't do anything for now. But we gained some experience for lying, so technically, it's rewarded me for it. Oh, I can do this. Cool. Oh, shirt. 
white satin shirt. I like that it's like point and click like this. It's fun. I like clicking shit. Okay. Do we pick the bottle up? This is a magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red. Oh, and it's empty. What is- is this like plants? Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Oh, it's like a cassette tape? This reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on rolling empty. Okay. What else can I click? Oh, I wish I could click the book. Alright, this room is a mess. Also, where, where is the bed? Is this not a hotel room? Is this supposed to be the bed? Or what kind of room is it? I guess we go outside. Oh, didn't I? Wait, I had keys, right? Didn't I? Mm -mm -mm. Clothes, items, interact. Oh, maybe it was just for this door. And then we have... We have no tasks. And we have some map. Okay, I guess we go here. Nice. There's something on the table. Oh, money? Is this stealing? I don't care. Oh, minus 44. Great. Oh, wait. Did this take us outside? Damn, I wanted to talk to that lady. Shit. I was not ready to leave yet. Uh... Oh, what's that? The smell of the sea makes you dizzy. <laughs> that sound made me be scared. Oh, let's check. Oh, a gust of briny wind. What is briny? I, f I feel like briny is oily, but I don't think it is. Green shoe. Oh, nice! We have one shoe. Oh, crap. We need a second shoe. Or do we... Yeah, we only have one shoe and a sock. Uh, okay. Go inside. What is our name? Do we have a name? Pick dialogue options to begin with. Hold on or wait to gain additional information before the conversation goes on. Ooh, that's good to know. Man, I need my other shoe. But if the shoe... Oh, wait, he threw it out the window. Then shouldn't the other shoe be in here? We cannot go out with just one shoe, that's weird. Oh, did I turn the light? Maybe if we turn the light on? The fan stands still. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. It's okay. just a little hangover-induced photosensitivity. Don't overreact. Bring it on. Little black spots dance on your retinas. It's almost pleasurable. Great. Uh, okay. Could the shoe... Can I? No. I was thinking if I could, like, rotate the camera, but no. This is all... Is this all painted? It's really cool. I feel like it is painted. The calendar says it's March. The year is 51. 51 what? Hello, officer. Yeah, hello. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Disco dancer. Uh... <laughs> Turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. No. Officer, am I military personnel? Uh, no. Okay, she seems perplexed by your question. There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman, a chief executive officer, right? CEO. The young woman shakes her head slowly. <laughs> chief technical officer? No, you're a police officer, sir. Oh, you're shitting me. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. All this time? You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. And what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, 
Mostly drinking. Ooh, 42%. <laughs> Tried expression on her. Let her know you want her physically. Why am I always doing... I... I... Okay, let's... Yes. The words have already left your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> what was that? That's not even how words are used. <laughs> what did you say? Come on. Say it again. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Come on, man. Freddy, please. One more time. Don't back down now. Say what you said again. Proudly. <laughs> he said, I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> Goddamn right you did. You crazy <laughs> asshole, you. What kind of cup are you? Um... Right, Superstar Cup. That's what we picked last time, though, so I think we should pick something different. Uh, I'm a cop of the apocalypse. Has the time come already? She raises an eyebrow. Um, doo -doo -doo. No, yes, we are mere minutes away from the total collapse of reality. Mere minutes? I should go and prepare, then. Thank you. This has been delightful. I hope it does all come crashing down. Otherwise... She extinguishes her cigarette. Also, how good is the voice acting? I feel like the, it makes it takes the game to a whole other like level. It's great. It's gonna suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. Oh no. <laughs> yes, it's gonna... Wow, she's really like... Okay, sorry. And for the record, no. I didn't do it. All right, that was great. Can we take her cigarette? Looks like she left a nice, nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Can I pick it up? No. Can I open this door? Open it. Open it. Open it. No. Oh the no. The door is closed. I mean. <laughs> Try the handle? So creepy. Have to do it. This door can only be opened with a key or from the inside. Let's knock. There is no answer. Shit. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. Okay. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. Beauty don't abandon me in all this ugliness. The door does not care. Oh. The door probably thinks you're a has-been loser too. <laughs> You feel your funny necktie becoming tighter and tighter around your neck. Why is my necktie bullying me? Knock again. Still no answer. Knock again much harder. Still nothing. You should punch a fucking hole in it. I'm not gonna call her a whore. Should we punch the door? I mean, why? Why are we doing this? Just cause fun? Punch the door. You slam your fist into the vinyl. It does not produce a hole. The door sits sturdily in the frame, and your fist hurts. This was all a very good, normal thing to do. You know what? Let's leave and pretend this never happened. Yeah. Yeah, this... If, some, if she comes, I'll just be like, yeah, it was the murderer, or whatever. This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper... Oh, no. French. I don't want to pronounce French stuff. I cannot. I cannot do it. I cannot. Most people settled for bed after nine or not long after. At night, the streets are emptier. By two, everyone's asleep. But not the gamers. I don't know why I said that. I'll delete that. <laughs> the music in this game is really good. What this? This is where the lyrics would be. Big old karaoke mic. It's a bird. The speaker is connected to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. Uh, my soul is modest. It's normal sized. Exactly. It's measured, level-headed, and it needs to be heard. <laughs> 
through a PA system. Sure. By other people. Yeah. Whether they like it or not. <laughs> Ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yourself. What is this half light? I love it. This goes well with Ethereum developing. No, we should not. We're, we're skipping. We're skipping the superstar bit. Not again. What should I sing when it comes to it? You have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation, but it's out there. It'll come to you. You will wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. Okay. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy, get the people going. No, no. It's... Don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. Sing the sad song. It's profound. All right. You have to find something tragic to sing first, though. Uh, okay. Sure. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. Oh, it's As stuffed. You approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. I thought I thought he was gonna eat it or something. I don't know why. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he's purposely ignoring you. Look at the stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Mm -hmm. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. Okay. There's something about the whole way this game looks that is very like satisfying to watch. It's like nice colors and I don't know. <laughs> Weird thought. Something about it makes you feel bitter. What, what, what happened to the bird? Look, your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? I'm a cop and I talk to whomever I please. He pretends not to hear you, Rude. concentrating on the bird instead. Something tells me you don't like me. Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero cop. So not only am I a cop, but I'm also a hero? Yes you are, a real <laughs> decorated hero. What did I do? What did you not do? First you took the body down, then you solved the murder, then you didn't trash my hostel room. Maybe you even negotiated the strike. I do not appreciate your tone. This is no way to talk to an officer. Oh, it's not? He raises his shoulder like he's about to say something more, but then he gets a hold of himself. You're right. It's not. Yeah. He has no respect for you personally, but this man sees himself as a law-abiding citizen. And you, a representative of that law. He tries to avoid outright conflict. Good. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. You look like a bartender. That period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Where did this Sylvie go? She just, you know... He shrugs. There's something there, and it's not good. That's all you know for now. Okay, let's leave. What is up here? The menu has been wiped clean, only the word Monday is written on it. Great. This is a water cooler. A large bubble rising to the surface. Oh no, subhead. Okay, let's get it. D we didn't get so far last time. There's health and stuff. I don't think we ever used it. Oh. The soft pair of an electric user. Someone is working. I want use. The door is bolted. A sign reads kitchen reserved for personnel until 13. Okay. What does this say? Sign reads mess hall reserved for union members. Doors open 16. Okay. We gotta keep this in mind. This says, this royal pinball machine is unplugged. Who this? Hello, sweetie. Liana the cryptosologist wife. What? Okay. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. She nods toward the man in the orange bomber jacket. You know what? I will do whatever I want because I'm a cop and I don't have to listen to you. 
A bottle of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful dark liquid is spilling out. Hey, wake up. A man is sleeping at a table wearing mud caked boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt reads Wild Pines, encircled by a logo with a tree. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Pick up pills? The man does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. I do. Can we wake him? 42%. You gently shake his shoulder, but nothing happens. We failed this everything. Man probably sleep soundly in a ship's engine room. Okay. Sure. Why do I fail everything? Can we steal some food? Oh, what is this? Summer door closed for the winter. Okay. I guess we talked to we talked to this guy. Oh wait, can I take the pill? Items, clothes, tools. I think maybe we took it immediately. Because we got a plus here. A respectable man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. Me. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this. But why? I feel like we shouldn't shake his hand because I think we know him. Hold on, who is he to me? He is your half-brother. Don't shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. Mm -hmm. You realize he is waiting for your name. Okay, we don't know each other. Damn. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative conceptualize well, all of our stuff is so low 28 percent. there's no way we're gonna get it but we'll we'll do it anyways concentration makes you squint your eyes nice. your name should be deep gold and orange like a forest fire looming on the horizon but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath you're two steps closer to it but there are still many to go it is not yet time. Okay, then. <laughs> he processes the information and disregards it. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? You mean him? Not towards the cafeteria manager. Yeah, I just talked to him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? Sure. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? I have, yes. Good. But even if you haven't, <laughs> we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Sure. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? I don't like dead bodies. Sure. But did you take it down from the tree? Look, man, you know, yeah. Does that mean the body is no longer in the tree? Dead body? Mm hmm Completely. Completely. Does that mean you took the body down <laughs> from the tree? No. So, the body is still in the tree. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Yeah, I get that. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Uh... What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? We all feel that way sometimes. There is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. Alright. But first, we have to take it down. How can be sure that I am police? I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. He points to your jacket. I could have stolen it. I suppose it. you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. 
uh, Inspectorate General? Internal Affairs. And I'm not them. I'm from Criminal Investigation. Oh, okay then. He nods. Uh, what were we supposed to do again? Talk to the manager. Then we go out back and take the body down. But I can't remember anything. I can see you drank last night and the night before. And that you're still drunk now. Oh. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. Alright. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Actually, we don't need anything for the headache because we stole some headache pills. A painkiller would be good about now. This thing is pulsating with discomfort. Didn't I get one? The best cure for a headache is, of course, morphine. <laughs> they won't have that. So cigarettes will have to do. Well, it's not morphine. After you, officer. Okay. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Huh. Oh, shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? It wasn't on me when I woke up. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Okay. Body number one. Stuff to do. Body number one stuff to do. Okay. We can go do so many stuff. And we can also sing karaoke. Okay, let's talk to the this guy again. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Oh, he likes him more than me. Shit. Mr. Gart, right? The lieutenant glances into his little you notebook. You run this place. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Yes. He responds, terrors, ter, ter. Okay. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. What is the harbinger of ruin? What? <laughs> the gloaming. I am it. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I've been to the precipice, cafeteria manager. I have seen the end. What is this, a joke to you? <laughs> is this what you get when you call the police now? This guy? We've he been waiting for you. a week here. <laughs> Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. I love that he backs me up even though I'm an idiot. <laughs> yes, of course. He takes a step back. For a moment, the cafeteria manager fidgets under the lieutenant's gaze. Then he gives in. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. Oh, it's nice. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper and, paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. He's really, like, proud of that. I mean, I guess that's something to be proud of. But I don't like it. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. Okay. I didn't imply that. Detective. Who, me? Mm hmm I have everything. You? Oh, you mean, do I have questions? Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me, like a police officer would? Sure, uh, where exactly is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. How do we get there then? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. 
No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Great. Does he want you to feel guilty of making that hole? It's implied in his voice. Who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Suddenly he turns up. Blood is being pushed to your muscles. You should hound him on this. Hound him hard, the prey drive says. I like half light. Yes. Did you kill him, Gart? No, I didn't. You can tell me, Gart. You kill him, right? I didn't. I don't appreciate this. What is this? Why did you have to kill him? Do I have to answer him? Is this mandatory? The lieutenant stands motionless. His he... expression unreadable. Did he hurt you? Is that why? Did you get some kind of sick kick out of killing him? What are you, an idiot? I told you I haven't killed anyone. Anyone? Have you killed someone else then? He ignores you. <laughs> we try. The game <laughs> would be good if he was just like, yes. And we're like, take game, done. Why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. She pertains to coming apocalypse. Does she? Maybe she does. Oh, Maybe experience. Maybe she pertains <laughs> to the apocalypse. <sighs> Sylvie is not here because I asked for her number. The dead body out back didn't help either, but it was mostly me. I hope you appreciate that. Oh, he tried to ask her out, or...? Thank you. Didn't go well. I asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now, what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? It's got nothing to do with the lynching. This stuff gets on my nerves. I'm a feminist. What? That's right. If there's one thing I know about myself is that I'm a total raging feminist. <laughs> is that so? Mr. Feminist... <laughs> He catches the rest before it leaves his mouth, probably thinking it's better not to say anything. That's, That's all. Good. Not so fast, Mr. Feminist. You owe me 130 royale. No one is saying the multi pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely imagination. But. Let's bail! <laughs> Time to push the eject button! Sounds like a responsibility. You don't like those. I don't. No, don't listen to him. It's madness. Just talk. I want to listen to the necktie. Twenty to eight percent is too low. It's way too low. What's a uh, real? Oh, excuse me. You owe me a hundred and thirty real. He pronounces the R with a mock aristocratic accent. The IIR, or Interisolary Real, is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him some money. Do you mean some form of street credit? No, you don't owe me street credit. <laughs> you owe me money. You owe this establishment 130 real. He points to the red ledger on the counter. Who does that clown think he is? Arrest him! <laughs> Did I just hear my Thai speak to me twice? No one is saying that! No one is saying that Thai can talk! That would be ludicrous! It's just that you should arrest him! It would be wiser! He wants to take your money! Great advice, I'm considering it. Give the tie an affirmative tug. The lieutenant looks at you tugging on your garish tie. He puts his hand on your shoulder. If you don't have the money, it's okay. None of us are in this for the wages. That's cop four. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any money either. What do I owe this place for? Let's see. Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damages. Mm -hmm. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachon. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still money. But what exactly is money? What are you, a philosopher? 
Uh, since I woke up, I have trouble remembering even the most basic concepts of reality. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or, or eight bottles of potent blend, and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Proceed, but don't show him the coins. They're yours. There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. You're under arrest. You can't arrest me. I haven't done anything. <gasps> oh, we have so high authority. Nice. Yeah, put this man in his place. Did someone order a vague, farcical reading of the law? More than one pops into your head. Refusal to aid an officer of the peace. You are impeding me from carrying out a murder investigation with your inane requests for money. We can say that, or we can say you have admitted to sexual crimes. You will be taken to sex prison. No, well, I think this one is this, this is the most authoritative. But it's not inane. I just you owe me money. It is cruel of you. A man has been killed. File a request for compensation with Station 41. We need to work now. Okay, you'll only have to pay for the window and the drinks. That's 70. I'll get the rest from your stupid station. Mm, goodbye and thank you for your cooperation. Don't thank me. You still owe me 70. If you don't have it by tonight, I'm not letting you back up there. He points upstairs. That's enough now, sir. Good day. We need to pay for damages. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. Do I even have one? But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Far away? In time or space? Both. That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. I'll leave, I'll live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo cop. Entertain the thought when you get the time. Maybe being a hobo and a cop has its advantages. Could be. All right. <laughs> I think this is where we're going to leave it for this time. But we're definitely going to continue and keep doing this. We have some level up, but I'll save that for, for next time. Also, what are these hand buttons? I don't know. I really enjoy the voice acting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think it really like takes the game to another level and I really like it. Also, if you're uh, just watching this video and haven't seen anything else that I do, I'm really bad at YouTube videos, but I do stream a lot on Twitch, so you can always go there if you want to see more like frequent content. I try to do YouTube, but I kind of fail at it. But we're trying again, I guess. Anyways, if you watched this long, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.